Hey, welcome back to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. Joe Beretta. You know that viable option of sending a nuke into space to destroy an asteroid were there to ever be one spiraling toward us? Yeah, that wasn't good enough. The United Nations Space Generation Advisory Council held a competition to come up with alternative ways to move an asteroid, and Soon Wook Peck, an MIT graduate student, won with his idea to rocket five tons of paintballs into space and onto an asteroid. So how exactly would paintballs save our race? It's actually pretty simple once you hammer out all the nasty details like gravitational pull, a lack of atmosphere in space, the physics of a giant moving chunk of space rock, photon science, and deflection trajectories. In other words, it's not simple. A spacecraft could fire two rounds of pellets that are naturally filled with white paint powder. The object of this weird, very expensive game of target practice is to cover as much of the surface area of the asteroid as possible. The first blast would nudge the asteroid slightly off course, and the newly painted asteroid will better match those curtains that Jupiter picked up last week. Ha <laughs> ha! 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 Actually, the new pale color will double the sunlight reflectivity. All those photons would increase solar radiation pressure and take the asteroid even further off course. I don't know if these people know how awards work, because this sounds like the stupidest idea I've ever heard, but what do I know? I'm not an MIT graduate. No, you are not. I graduated from the University of Florida. Yes, you did. And I wrestled crocodiles. No, you did yes, not. I did. No, you did not. Give me my award. Give me, give me my award. The MIT guy didn't stop there. Instead of paint, the pellets could have aerosols that would keep the asteroid's hair in place as it zips through space on its way to its date with Pluto. Because ever since Pluto came back on the market of available chunks of rock, asteroids have been going crazy. Have you heard about Pluto? We gotta get on Pluto. You facetious son of a gun. Who's a facetious uh, son of a gun? I'm a facetious you son of a gun. You are so facetious. I'm a facetious son of a gun. The aerosols would actually, quote, impart air drag on the upcoming asteroid to slow it down. This work builds on the guy's theory from last year, which was just to shoot solid pellets at the thing. Apparently it took him a year to go, hmm, I can just put stuff in these pellets. I can put anything I want in these pellets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put jelly in these pellets. Won't deflect an asteroid, but it'll be funny. Man, jelly's funny when it's on stuff. Be like a wah, 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 wah. Lindley Johnson, program manager for NASA's Near Earth Objects Observation Program, stated, It's very important that we develop and test a few deflection techniques efficiently so that we know we have a viable toolbox of deflection capabilities to implement when we inevitably discover an asteroid on an impact trajectory. So, if you take anything away from this story, it should be that we're all eventually gonna die. Have a great day. So now it's your turn. Tell us how to deflect an asteroid so SourceFed can save the world one day. You know, more so than we already do. Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click this annotation for our five daily stories, or go to SourceFed.com and see all sorts of other news. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. That's my Jamba Juice. That's my Jamba Juice. Don't you do it. I'm going to end this bit now so I have my Jamba Juice back. <laughs>